Here we are at Kirch Flat Campground. It's my lovely wife, Lavella, likes to be called Lovi. Walking past the tow vehicle. It's a 2020 Ram, 3500 for the Cummins diesel. Now she's getting up close to the camper. And she's sweet. It's a Keystone Cougar. It's a 2015 model year. They call it half ton towable. Don't believe that. So, came with four, a, uh, a three step, but I raised the ride height to this, so I had to add another uh, step to it. So, let's take a little tour. Okay. Here she is. <laughs> She's in the dinette. Dinette turns into a bed as well. I've never slept there. Nobody's ever slept there. Hopefully nobody ever will. <laughs> okay. Now we're in the galley. Lots of cabinet space. Nice window out the back, double compartment sink. Under the sink is a 34 gallon auxiliary water tank that I added so that we could have lots of water for boondocking, take showers, not run out of water. So the way that thing works is it's got its own fill station on the outside. And as soon as you run out of water in the main tank, which is 60 gallons, you just open a valve up at the bottom down there and it'll drain by gravity into the uh, original tank so a little close up on a double compartment sink everything's very lightweight so you have to be careful when you turn things because you can break handles off really easy it's all plastic okay, let's shut that door alright so we have the Atwood 3 burner range top and an oven there Very nice. Got a we micro. Can bake. Yeah, we can we can put we pizzas can in there. And then oven, microwave, microwave oven, oven doubles as a bread box. You can only use it when you have 120 volts. And since we boondock a lot, the only way you get that is through the generator. Buckets. More cabinet space. Lots of stuff. You might think that's dead space down below the cabinets that she just opened, but actually there's some components down there. There's a surge protector that I've wired into the main power supply, and the water pump is down in the one behind the garbage. So let's take a look at the refrigerator. Lots of room in the refrigerator. We can't. We packed for a week and we barely put anything in it. Chiller, juices. Everything heavy on the bottom. And then we have freezer. It's pretty nice. It's dual fuel. It's a electric or gas. It's automatic. It's, yeah, it's automatic. So you plug it into uh, 120 volts and it, it runs on 120 rather than gas. Here's some more cabinet space. That's the pantry. Pantry was just one big deep cabinet with no, no shelf in it. So I uh, put a shelf in it and then I bought these racks, these sliding racks, and had these plastic containers made at Tap Plastics. So you could slide out and get all the way in there if you needed to. Same with the upper ones. And we have some of those spring-loaded containment rods so that when we're traveling, we uh, put those in front of the slider so that uh, it doesn't open the door and slam around while you're driving. More storage space. 
Yeah, just a lot of drawers. In the bottom one, we keep pots and pans and heavy stuff on the bottom. It's like a race car. There's a recliner. It's covered in um, all of our old coats and stuff that we just haven't put away. We actually haven't even unpacked the recliner yet. Usually I unstrap it's it and turn it around. We're yeah, we can move that around and put it anywhere on the floor we want. So if you look this way, we've got a 40-inch TV, mm -hmm. cabinet space, really cheesy stereo. <laughs> Storage here. Storage. We have land. Yeah, the dinette and the couch are on the slide out. It moves out about three feet. The couch makes into a bed. Nobody's ever slept there either. Alright, so you got to step up to go into the bathroom. And then we have the furnace. Oh yes, don't forget the furnace. We have central heat, heat yeah. and central air. The air comes through the top, registers. The heat comes through the bottom, and we just keep them covered with these magnetic uh, covers so that mm -hmm. dirt and debris doesn't go down in them. And let's go to the restroom. Also have, uh, yes, we do. And there's one more in the bedroom. So it's a porcelain toilet. It's elongated. I bought the uh, ADA height elongated and retrofitted in here because the other one was uh, painfully small. You guys know what I mean. All right. Let's take a look in here. Toilet. Got a lavy plastic plastic faucet under uh, under sink storage a lot of room down there toiletries and such mounted the uh, toilet paper roll to the door so it's out of out of the sight out of mind and then you got a cabinet above that's mirrored Mirror. medicine chest medicine, medicine cabinet. and Pretty nice shower. We have a shower room. We put a coat hanger, a coat rack above the shower so that if it's raining, you can bring your uh, raincoats in and let them drip into the shower. <laughs> okay, and we have garbage. garbage Dead space, so we put garbage in it. And then we have this is the coat, the only coat rack that uh, the coach came with. And then this one, we have the day, oh, yeah. toilet seat, hand spray. Yeah. It's for washing the bowl down. And then bed. Yeah, let's go into the bedroom. So it's an RV queen bed. It's pretty, plenty big. Turn on the light. There we go. And then we have overhead storage. Yeah. Overhead storage. We have storage here. Storage. So for those of you that uh, worry about safety, that's a uh, elastic holster with my uh, 40 caliber Glock in there. Here is my scabbard with a 12 gauge shotgun. And then this, and then this, uh... Here's the other wardrobe. Plenty of room for storing clothes. Put some uh, shelving in there myself. Alright, we can turn this light off.
Ooh. And we can go out this way. There's a light up here. Let's get this light on. Also have storage here. Towels. Show them the liquor cabinet. Liquor cabinet. Oh yeah, liquor cabinet. Mm. Well stocked. Okay. And then I put a couple more coat racks in here. Get robes and pants and stuff. Because usually when you take off your clothes, you just throw them on the floor and they're in the way at night. And so... I put up two coat racks into the last one. And that way we can hang all our, our robes and pants and stuff like that. Yeah. We should put those jackets in here that, that are on the oh, yeah. recliner. And then try to them the control. Okay. <laughs> Thermostat for the central heat. Improved. More of a digital kind than the old one. Oh, we also have, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, more storage above, we put light stuff up there, because it's up high. And then we also have lights here. Then I also put a, a bunch of key hangers there. Uh, can't really see it that well. So there's four hangers there for keys. So here's the control panel. Got all the switches and lights and it also tells you how good your battery is. Battery is not full. Fresh water is not full. Black water is almost empty. Gray water is almost, uh, black water too, which we don't have gray water. And then galley tank. So you got ceiling lights, pendant, flood lights, porch light, cap light, water switch, water heater, electric water heater, uh, glide room switches, and then I added uh, spotlights. This was a blank before, so I put spotlights on the back of the camper so that if it's nighttime and you're backing into some place, you can illuminate trees up above and rocks down below. And then there's a constant readout there for the uh, battery. There's a converter, so when you're plugged in, that charges everything. It's also got fuses in it. Lock. Cool camper. Let's go outside. Oh, I'm gonna go turn this light off. Okay, I'll show the river. So we're camped on the King's River. Right on the river. So there was only one person here when we, we drove in as he's on the other side of the campground. So I, uh, while, while he's a nice guy, I didn't want to park next to him. We have neighbor. And today we have a neighbor. <laughs> There's our neighbor. We waved at him earlier. So here's the King's River, it comes through King's Canyon and it comes down this way. She said she wasn't going to talk, but she keeps talking. Okay, so this camper has a gas outlet underneath so that we can attach the barbecue to it. There's the barbecue. Always have my American flag out when I can. I'm a patriot. The Is he? Yeah, the okay. There's some storage there for uh, sewer. And then a little extra for poles. There's a bumper I fabricated. I made this bumper. Made the bumper with a tray on it, the spare tire mount, 
mounted all those uh, tubes for storage, as you can barely see. There they are, they got caps on them. So the trailer also has uh, auto level, but they're pretty dang short. Not sure why that one's not down all the way. Slide outs, there's, there's two slide outs on this trailer. It's a nice campground, quiet, very warm for this time of year. It's about 60 degrees today, it was about 62, 63 yesterday. And I've, I've been in this campground when it was 25 degrees.